Okay, digital signatures. This is uh, definitely a part of uh, asymmetric encryption uh, rather than uh, symmetric encryption, although it, it has a relation to um, the keyed hash or uh, message authentication code um, that uh, we discussed earlier with regard to symmetric. Um, but of course, um, with asymmetric encryption, you get, again, the um, uh, absolute authentication and the non-repudiation uh, aspect that um, we had uh, that, that we we didn't have rather with with symmetric encryption um, the uh, there is uh, you know every time we make something more convenient uh, there we open the door to uh, additional um, attacks and such is the case we are not finished with our 10,000 widget uh, court case um, but uh, we'll leave that for the moment. We'll get into it when we're talking about cryptanalysis. Um, okay. Uh, digital signature is encrypting not the message itself in its entirety, but the hash. And, and of course, we've talked about the hash, um, a representation uh, of the file of the full file uh, a representation which does not um, I mean inherently does not uh, allow you to reconstruct the original message but also um, is uh, uh, you want to make it extremely difficult to uh, calculate guess uh, plan what the the hash will be um, in the case of modifying the original message. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> all of that goes into it to make sure that the, the representation gives us the best probability that, yes, this hash represents the original message and not another. Um, the... Uh, now, again, this, this relates to additional stuff. I've, I've mentioned hybrid encryption, um, where we use uh, symmetric and asymmetric encryption together um, where their strengths are. And so um, symmetric encryption is strong at encrypting the actual data, um, and asymmetric encryption is um, uh, more computationally intensive, uh, takes longer, takes more energy, and so you want to do it on small uh, uh, data objects like the key rather than the full message. So in the same way, we're dealing with asymmetric encryption here, it's computationally intensive, it's expensive, um, let's use it not on the full message, but on the hash. And that's almost as good. Not, not quite. I mean, you know, there, there is uh, always a possibility, and again, we'll go into this in uh, cryptanalysis, but uh, the, uh, the hash representation of the, the data, if, if properly chosen, uh, gives us you know, good confidence that yes, this represents the original file and not another, and not a variant. And uh, therefore we can use that, use the hash, which is a fixed and generally much smaller size than the original file and use asymmetric encryption to protect that. Now, of course, we're not protecting it except from modification. We are protecting, uh, you know, it's what we do, of course, is not use uh, a public key, but we use my private key. 
the sender's private key is used to um, encrypt the um, the hash of the message. Now, the message um, is not encrypted, generally speaking, um, and the uh, the hash is, but of course, it can be decrypted easily with the public key, my public key if I'm creating the hash. Um, and so, uh, but what that says is, if it correctly decrypts, and, and to make sure that it correctly decrypts, you hash the file that you have received and compare that with the decrypted hash. Um, and if they match, then yes, only I could have encrypted this hash. Uh, and therefore, you know that I digitally signed, digitally verified that this is the original file, that nobody has messed with it um, uh, since I created it, uh, or created the hash anyways. Uh, and, uh, you know, that is my verification. We can use the, um, the digital signature for, uh, you know, authenticating a file, authenticating a message, a non-repudiation. Yes, I actually sent this message. Um, I really did. I can't revoke it. Um, the, uh, and, and we can use it to, to sign other things. When we, we get into uh, public key infrastructure, we'll have uh, certifications, and, and we can sign um, not only... Uh, you know, lengthy uh, uh, data files, but we can sign other people's keys. Um, and, you know, we'll get into that in the certification authorities and the web of trust, which is very interesting. Um, and it, really interesting thing, again, crypto is wonderfully counterintuitive sometimes. Um, with the web of trust, just to jump ahead a bit um, uh, people had key signing parties and they would sign each other's key, key well not sign each other's keys they would sign everybody's key would be signed by a key pair that was generated for possibly at the party the key signing party and then um, they would destroy the private key that was used to sign everybody's keys and you would think, oh, you know, I mean, you went to all that trouble to, to uh, create a key pair. Why do you destroy the private key? Because that increases the value of the public key and the digital signatures. Nobody can create that signature ever again because only the people who were at that party could use that private key. So... You know, one of the weirdnesses of cryptography.